from the Crypt Keeper. Oh, give me a crypt where the moldy walls drip and the ghouls come up through the floor. Howdy, cowboys and cow ghouls. Welcome to Tombstone, my favorite town. It's not the liveliest place, but certainly says something for old worm charm. <laughs> Move on, Scarif. I'm taking over this show once and for all. This show's not big enough for the both of us, Vault Keeper. I'm giving you till sundown to be on the next hearse leaving town. <laughs> oh. Get away with this, Vault Keeper! Tough talk, Scarif. But like they say, when the going gets tough, the tough get... <coughs> troughed. Tonight's chilling tale is about a city slicker named Dale, who discovered that life begins at six feet under. Especially if you happen to be furry, fanged, and lurk in the dark caves and caverns of the Haunted Mine. So, you moving in or just passing through? <laughs> moving in? <laughs> That's a laugh. Nope, I'm moving my Aunt Melva out. Melva? Well, you've got your work cut out for you. There you go, filled up with super. Uh, can you change a hundred? Tell you what, why don't I just throw in the truck stop and we'll call it even? <laughs> I got a better idea. You just keep the change. Moving Melva? <laughs> Good luck. Aunt Melva! I'm not going! Oh. Now, Aunt Melva, we've been through this. Way out here in the middle of nowhere is no place for a single woman. It's not safe. What you really mean is that I'm too old to take care of myself. No, Aunt Melva, I mean dangerous. This could have happened to you. But it didn't. It happened to you. Might want to get your leg out of there before he chews it off. Chews it off? Ah! Who? What? Buster? What, the old mutt's still kicking? Uh, uh I, I mean, um... Buster might not be the dog he once was, but his one eye's still pretty good. And he's not totally deaf, are ya, boy? Are ya, boy? Are ya, boy? 
<laughs> and he can always hear this. When he gets himself lost, this always helps him find his way back home. <gasps> Whoa! Dang, fool's trying to reopen the mine. Ooh, that's some whistle. It's not the whistle. It's the new owner, Nick. What's his name? Dang fool's trying to re reopen the mine. Yep. It's haunted, you know. D did you say haunted? Come on. I'll tell you about it over a bowl of stew. Yep. Haunted. No other way to explain it. It was 40 years ago, but folks around here remember it like it was yesterday. They were going deeper than ever before. The bones were only the beginning. I began hearing strange sounds <laughs> and catching glimpses of ghostly shadows. And then one by one, the miners began disappearing. <gasps> Finally, convinced that the mine was haunted, they sealed it up. Under tons of solid rock. Until today. Ah! Oh, you haven't touched your stew, Dale. I was thinking we should turn in. Get an early start packing up your things in the morning. I ain't going, Dale. But Aunt Melva, it's a nice, clean apartment right downtown. Running water, electricity, bars on the windows, double locks, the works. Hmm. They don't allow pets, do they? Um, uh, yeah. pets? Yes, pets. Buster, let me tell you something, Dale. Buster's all I've ever had since... Ever since Devon Crabtree left me standing at the altar. Oh, that was a long time ago, Aunt Melva, and he didn't leave you standing at the altar. Good night, Aunt Melva. Just promise me, Dale. What? Promise me I'll be able to keep Buster. Oh, good night, Aunt Melva. Well, I ain't going. Melva? Let's go back to sleep. He's just wandering again. Buster! Aunt Melva? Aunt Melva! Aunt Melva! Aunt Melva! Great. It's not just the dog that wanders off. <gasps> I knew something like this was bound to happen. She's too old to be out here in this 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 this, this, this wilderness. Huh? Yeah! Not enough the neighbors have to play with explosives. They park right in the middle of the. <gasps> 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 